Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's continue implementing the basic regression model using TensorFlow Keras, which started in the previous video. As I mentioned in the previous video, we are going to add some data visualization regarding the model we built to predict the value of z for any unseen x and y values. For visualizations, we have imported the matplotlib library. It is a third party library for data visualization. It works well in combination with NumPy, SciPy, and Pandas. For this particular case, we are going to use it with NumPy. The particular thing I want to point out here is that, if remembered, we have completed the training of the model and we have utilized the Keras history callback to save the state of each training epoch. Now, the plan is to examine the training output with the help of some realizations. So let's get into the Google Colab. Here, you can see that we have saved the state of each training epoch in the history variable. So first of all, let's see what is recorded in this history variable. So I will call the history.keys on this variable and print that out. You can see that at each epoch it has saved the loss and the mean squared error on both the training and the validation data. The validation loss and mean squared error are indicated with the prefix val underscore. Great. Now we will create a plot for both loss and mean squared error. So I will say plt.plot and we will pass the loss from the history. Then we will add the validation loss in the similar way. Also, we can add the title and the labels for each plot. So here we are. I have added the accuracy as the title along with the X and Y labels. Then we will add the legend and add the train and validation because the first value is for the training and the second one is from the validation. Now, finally, we will call the show method to print this plot. Great. Simply execute this cell by hitting this run button. And here we are. We can observe that the loss is minimized quite early by the end of the third epoch. And the model is fully trained by the end of 15 epochs that we have specified in the fit method. Great. To verify this claim, we will also draw a plot for the mean squared error in training and validation as well. So here we are. We have added the mean square error and the val underscore mean square error along with the title, labels, and the legend. Finally, we will call the show method to print that out. Now, execute this cell, and there you go. You can see the same result here. We are done with that. We built a very basic regression model using TensorFlow Keras API along with the very basic visualizations of the training process using matplotlib library. That's it for now. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.